What's up guys, Attila here. This time we're playing FTL, Faster Than Light. It's a sort of point and click game with uh, a point and click adventure game with, uh, well, what should we call it really? Action events. Not too sure how to describe it, but uh, you're a ship on the run from the uh, evil rebels and you're gonna try to make it to the other side of the galaxy. And now, let's get into it. Now, uh, I'm carrying vital data for the remaining Federation fleet, and I need to find weapons and supplies and stuff. Anyhow, I'm just gonna always make sure that my weapons are ready. And then, we're gonna go. This is the traveling map, we're gonna make it here to here. Preferably in as few jumps as necessary. So like here, to here, to here, and so on. Because the rebels will come from here and try to kill me for some reason. Anyhow, let's get to this uh, nebula here. Let's see what we can find here. I have the damage federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. Let's help them. Well, you get lucky and find them floating not too deep into nebula's uh, nebula. Uh, thrilled to be found by friendlies, they come aboard and abandon their wrecked ship. Now I get a new crewmate. I wonder if she is better than anything extra. Uh, maybe shields? 10% fast touch. Should be good to have actually. Someone working the shields. And now, now we have uh, four guys instead of three. Usually you only have three guys. Let's go to this place. I usually make it three or four. Uh, yeah, galaxies or whatever you want to call them before I die. Once I made it six, but then I died. And now. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. You're gonna have to kill him, and this is his weapons, this is engines, this is shields, this is oxygen, and this is the uh, uh, bridge where they control the ship. So we have to kill him before he escapes. That's usually the idea. Yep, they're powering out their, powering up their FTL drive and trying to get away. And they will report me to the Federation. I'm gonna launch a missile first, because uh, that will break the shields. Yep, it's important to always break the shields if possible. This should kill them. Nope, we need one more. Hopefully we can uh, make it. Because they don't have weapons and barely any engine. Here we go. Now this is an easy ship. Later on we will die if we get ambushed or not prepared. We're gonna have to repair this door. Because without it we can't close or open all doors at once. Which is necessary at some points. Not too often though. But you know, sometimes you have to do it. Oh, she's damaged. That's not good, gonna have to put her in the med bay. There we go. Alright, let's jump to this location and then we can jump out of here next time. Uh, a rebel automated scout ship pursuing a civilian. Let's attack them. There we go, hopefully they will only get one attack on us. Oh, that's an EMP. Oof, that must have hurt. Did I miss? With my, uh... What? How did I miss? I'm confused. Usually missiles are pretty accurate. They actually don't... I miss all that often. 
I'm disappointed. Oh, the civilians got away without giving us any reward. Greedy bastards. There. Gostri and Asted. Those are some fun names. Anyhow. We should go to the exit. You arrived at a long range beacon. When the FTL drive is short, you can jump to the next sector. Oh, well, there are life forms on the nearby planet. Let's investigate. You land a small shuttle on an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six legged, horse like animals. Maybe they are what they. what I scanned for? Let's try to communicate. Oh, I got another. <gasps> I got like five crew members. Wow. None of your attempts to communicate seems to work. They just stare at you silently. As you prepare to leave, one of the creatures uh, canters forward and forcefully nudges you away from the ship. He seems to want you to follow him. Eventually, they guide you to an old Engai ship crash site. Inside, you are able to find and reactivate an Engai. Now I can put s one rift there. Hmm. Does it matter if I have two guys on a system? Doesn't seem like it. Well, let's put one on the oxygen. It's always necessary to have one here. Just in case. Just, uh, let's go into the ship. Buy another power bar. So we can have full power on everything. I think it doesn't really matter if where I put this guy. I'm gonna see if I can get into activate or interact with on these consoles. Yep. That worked. Uh, sensors enable view of all rooms and info and ship. Okay, apparently I got one more system level when I manned it. Well, let's jump. Oh yeah, next sector here. And this was what I was talking about. If you stay too long, these are rebels who are going past the galaxy trying to kill everyone. So if you stay back here, they will kill you. Anyhow, let's go to the next sector. This, you're gonna have to travel from here to here. Which is easier said than done. I'm gonna go to this Sultan controlled sector. Hope for the best, it's a civilian sector. You are far from Federation home space here in Sultan territory, and it's not clear whether the authorities will have any goodwill remaining. Still, you have to push forward. So I might encounter troubles. I think I'm gonna go this way, probably. Anyhow, either this way or up here. I find that the best strategy is just to beeline it. Oh man, intruders. See, you're not able to jump away until the intruders are gone. Oh, shit. That is not good. I'm gonna have to move as many as I can over here. Oh man, it's another guy in here. As long as they stay in the med bay, they will be able to take them out. Okay, they are attacking over here in my shield room. Yeah, they got it under control. Because I put them in the uh, med bay, my guys get healed and they don't. So they always stay around 100 in health. That's pretty handy actually. I'm gonna, uh, I think this guy was over here. I think. Not really sure. She was the captain. 
These two have to heal up a bit and uh, fix this thing. And she was in here, I guess. He was in the weapons. But that happens a few times. Then it's best to just go into the med bay and fight them off in there because they can't kill you in there. It's almost impossible. I always go in there if I have to. Oh my! I got a combat drone, I think. Equipment. Oh yeah, I have to get the drone thing installed. Which is pretty annoying. That's pretty good, uh, the drone. It's annoying to fight drones. Like many areas in Sultan space, the residents of this sector prepare well for galactic war. The military here seem to have given up reasoning with foreigners, preparing instead to attack on sight. Shields have to be taken out. Let's see what happens. And my Artemis missile. Oh man. I thought that would work. Attacking the shield is important. I have to attack it again. Don't really want to waste too many missiles. I don't really need to use. Another under Artemis, I only have six. There we go. Taken out a Sultan ship. Ship explodes and gave us a few things. Missiles and scrap. I think I should repair the med bay as well. It's uh, pretty important to have. There we go. Let's go to Nebula. I use by two pirate ships lurking in the Nebula here. They remain unaware of your presence. We're able to get your scanners. Okay. I don't really want to attack them because I have enough ammo and a uh, few. So let's just jump away. I'm gonna see if they have a uh, drone thing here. Yeah, drone control. Only have a few scraps left, but uh, I have to do. There we go. This shoots down incoming missiles, asteroids, and debris. It's pretty good, actually. I really like to have it. So I would have to power down engines to have the uh, drone online. But that's a price I have to pay. Come across an asteroid mining colony, they message you immediately saying Greetings, our supplies of mining explosive have run out since the rebels blocked our system. Do you have any extra explosives? While we appreciate your enthusiasm, we certainly proved the cause. Okay, give him. Oh yeah, they repaired a bit. I like that. Here you see, the rebels have control of this location. So, you have to move on. You can't really go back. I'm going to a nebula. Those are often a little bit more uh, dangerous. It's more like throwing a dice. Whether or not something bad happens here or not. can never really know. Oh, that seems good. A few uh, ammunitions for one drone port. Oh yeah, I don't really need to have... This should be good to have actually. Someone in the drone room.
Well, oh, nothing bad happened. A rock armor transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings, but when you hail, they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, we find you repugnant. We seek no aid. Leave us. Okay, that works for me. Just have to go away. Rebel Scout. Have to take it down, I have to take it down fast. This should work. What? I didn't know that they actually could uh, kill <laughs> my drones. Oh man. This needs to be fixed now. Having no O2 is what kills you. That's probably one of the most dangerous things that can happen to you. Running out of oxygen. It's uh, very dangerous. You just land one missile there and you don't really notice. And then you die. Because you can't have enough power on all your safety systems. Alright, here we can jump to the next sector. Let's go to a civilian one. Not really like going to pirate sectors. It's going surprisingly well actually. Uh, let's move this guy over here. Well, as usual, shortest way. Hope that nothing bad will happen. Oh, they want me to pay a toll. I won't pay any tolls. Too bad you're gonna regret this decision. What happened now? What? I'm gonna have to short my engines fast. Hopefully this works. Yeah, it sort of worked. Hopefully I can get up. Oh man, this is bad. Hopefully I can get them all. Please stop short. This is a hardship. I've never met anyone with cloaking devices before. Please. I need to charge. I need it now. Oh man. I need to pilot. Come on, go now. Why is everything going bad? This is horrible. This is what kills you. An ambush like this, you're not ready for it, and uh, you're screwed. Oh, I'm ready to jump, I'm ready to jump. Let's go here. Hope for nothing bad. Oh no. Oh man, this is bad. I'm probably gonna die here. I'm not gonna be able to make this. Nope, I am so dead. It's not even fun. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gone. Well, uh, this won't last very long actually. Yeah, I'm dead. Abandon ship. Oxygen left. No, nothing. Yeah, 
next attack or next flare, we're dead. Well, we tried. And we failed. We weren't prepared, actually. Check the stats. Here's my space pig. The flying rooster. rooster Sverige. HMS life, for some reason. My top score is actually with my rimmed gris, which is space pig. I made sector 7 apparently. The flying rooster also. Wonder where this ship came. Uh. Hmm. Well, I can't really see it. Well, this is the torture <laughs> that is FTL faster than light. It's pretty hard. It's unforgivingly hard. Some people say the Dark Souls is hard, but uh, this is harder. You just get wrecked and you're permitted. You can't do anything about it. Anyhow, if you guys like this, make sure to leave a like. And if you like to see more of this kind, these types of games, make sure to leave a comment about it. You know, I enjoy this, and hopefully someone watching this also enjoys this. And if you have any suggestions on other content that you want to see, let me know. Anyhow, until next time, I've been Attila, and don't forget to like and subscribe.